Can you imagine finding a secret room hidden away in your very own home? As unlikely as it may seem, some homeowners have indeed stumbled upon trapdoors, secret passageways, and in the case of one young girl, even treasure maps concealed in the most seemingly familiar of locations. So stay tuned to discover the most unbelievable hidden rooms people have found in their homes. It'd be pretty strange to find out the room you've slept in your whole life contained a secret area you were totally unaware of. But that's exactly what happened to one little girl called Emerson K back in 2013. On her sixth birthday, when Emerson asked her dad, Peter, for some pocket money, Peter told her she could earn it by clearing out an old unused storage container. Emerson reluctantly agreed not realizing that she was about to uncover an amazing secret. At first glance, the box seemed to be filled with old doorknobs and pieces of metal, but as she reached the bottom of the box, she spotted something unusual, a crumpled piece of parchment covered in strange markings. Immediately, Emerson grabbed the paper and pulled it out of the chest. It was thick with dust and tattered at the edges, but when she held it out to her family, they all reacted in shock. She'd found a treasure map, and when she looked more closely, she noticed something even more amazing. The map showed her very own home. Emerson looked closely at the crumpled map, attempting to understand its smudged, inky instructions. Strangely, it looked as though the treasure was located in her very own bedroom. But surely that couldn't be right. Emerson had slept there for six years, and she was certain there were no hidden treasure chests or trap doors. Regardless, Emerson took the map into her bedroom and puzzled over the clues, but she kept hitting dead ends. It looked as though there was a solid wall where the treasure should be. That was when Emerson's dad came along to help. He knocked on the wall until he discovered a panel that sounded suspiciously hollow, almost as though there were something hidden behind it. Emerson was a little dismayed. If there really was treasure tucked away behind her wall, surely she'd never be able to reach it. After all, even drawing on walls with crayon is usually enough to land a kid in serious hot water, let alone smashing them down completely. But what she hadn't realized was that her dad was willing to go to any lengths to delight his little girl. He grabbed an electric saw, and while Emerson clutched noise-canceling headphones to her ears, he cut a rectangular hatch into the wall. Finally, he stepped back to allow Emerson to solve her mystery. Very carefully, she clutched the edges of the hatch and tugged. The panel came away to reveal a secret room, hidden in Emerson's bedroom her whole life without her ever suspecting a thing. When Emerson stepped inside, she found a small, dusty space, which clearly hadn't been entered in years. She couldn't help feeling a little confused because this secret room was totally empty. Or at least she thought it was, until she spotted a tiny chest on the floor. She opened it up, and inside was a sparkling collection of treasure, jewelry, and coins. Emerson was overjoyed and let her imagination run wild, theorizing what the origins of this tiny treasure trove may be. But here's the best part of all. Her dad knew exactly how the treasure had got there because it was him who'd built the secret room and planted the treasure there. It had all been part of a spectacular plan he hatched before Emerson was even born, all for the pleasure of making his future kid smile. Peter, I think we can all agree you're the worthy winner of not just father of the year, but also best secret keeper of all time. But a secret room, that's pretty cool. Now, I can't promise all of you a secret room of your own, but I can guarantee that if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'll keep on surprising you with wild and wacky content every day. Done? Great. Let's explore some more secret rooms. Secret City You've heard of people finding secret rooms in their homes, but back in 1963, one Turkish homeowner in the region of Cappadocia discovered something a teeny bit bigger than a room. The resident was making some home improvements when he knocked down a basement wall. 
When the dust and debris had settled, he noticed a mysterious cavernous passage winding deep into the earth. He knew he'd discovered something strange, but he never would have guessed he'd actually stumbled upon the entrance to an ancient underground city which had been hidden beneath his house for hundreds of years. It's crazy, but it's true. The city is known as Dodinkyu, and it was built from a series of enormous caves carved into soft volcanic rock. The 18-story underground metropolis descends to about 250 feet below ground level, with a ventilation shaft which once doubled as a well to provide fresh air and water. The space is reportedly large enough to have once been able to house a whopping 20,000 people as well as their livestock and food stores. If the lucky guy who discovered Dorinkuyu was hoping to create more storage space in his home, he certainly found it. Until he was forced to hand it over to the government, that is. So, how did a city come to be underground in the first place? Well, Dorinkuyu is thought to have been built in the time of the Byzantine Empire to provide refuge for citizens during the Arab-Byzantine Wars of 780 to 1180. In fact, the underground city was so successful as a shelter that it was used repeatedly by Turkish Christians escaping persecution over the centuries. However, in 1923, the Christian population of the region were expelled from Turkey and Dorinkuyu was abandoned until it was finally rediscovered by that one curious DIY-loving homeowner. While the homeowner who discovered Dorinkuyu immediately alerted authorities to his mind-boggling find, Personally, I'd have been tempted to keep it quiet. I mean, can you imagine having an entire city all to yourself? What's in the vault? Buckle up, secret room fans, because I'm about to take you on a Reddit-based roller coaster ride. Back in 2013, Reddit user Don't Stop Me Sme took to the internet to ask for some help with a mind-boggling mystery. His friend had recently moved into a new home in New Zealand and had discovered something pretty strange while exploring the rented property. While the majority of the house appeared normal, the garage was protected by grates and barred windows. Inside was a locked vault with a thick steel door and a strange pattern of old tape carefully arranged around the dial. What made the mystery even more tantalizing was the fact that the property had once belonged to a local criminal gang. Perhaps they'd used the vault to stash away their ill-gotten gains, filling it with cash, weapons, or stolen jewels just waiting to be discovered by anyone clever enough to crack the code. Needless to say, the internet was intrigued, and soon Don't Stop Me Smee was overwhelmed with comments insisting that he do everything in his power to open the vault even if it meant getting some pretty heavy-duty machinery involved. However, the tenant was understandably reluctant. After all, his landlord would be furious if he damaged his new home. So months passed without an update, and Redditors everywhere came to terms with the fact that the tantalizing mystery of the hidden vault might just go unsolved. But then came a twist. Ten months after the original post, a different Redditor called Mantis NZL introduced himself as the new tenant of the mysterious home. Unlike his predecessor, he was determined to uncover the locked-up secret. Instead of worrying about his landlord, he grabbed an angle grinder and got to work. After removing the lock, he used all his weight to lever open the heavy steel door, gripped with anticipation for the treasures within. At last, the moment came. He stepped inside the vault and gazed around in amazement at how empty it was. Instead of containing a priceless treasure trove, the vault was home to a few dusty shelves and a single spider. He dutifully posted pics of his findings on Reddit, where the community of amateur detectives were incredibly disappointed. I guess it just goes to show that not every mystery has a satisfying ending. But at least that spider had the chance to become internet famous. I look forward to reading its memoirs any day now. The Chamber of Horrors As we've seen, not all secret rooms are filled with glittering treasure. And while some may be totally empty, others are crammed full of creepy artifacts that will send shivers down your spine. Just take a look at the horrifying hidden space discovered by an imager user called Two Bite Brownie, who shared his terrifying tale with the internet. As he recalled, in 2013, Two Bite Brownie had been wrestling with his brother at their parents' house when he stumbled and fell against a bookcase. To his surprise, it moved outward slightly, seemingly attached to hinges. 
After a little experimentation, the two bros managed to lever the heavy bookcase away from the wall, revealing a spiral staircase leading down into the darkness. The mystery was too intriguing to leave unsolved, so Two Bite Brownie bravely clambered down the steps. What he found at the bottom was enough to scar him for life. At the end of the staircase was a hidden crawl space filled with strange carved figurines, tiny keys, and creepy glassy-eyed dolls. It looked as though someone had actually been living in the walls. What was even more creepy was that the floor was littered with empty candy wrappers, which Two Bite Brownie recognized as his own Halloween candy, as well as a fresh-looking banana skin. The mysterious inhabitant had clearly been munching on a feast very, very recently. Now, some people have accused Two Bite Brownie of making up the story for online attention, pointing out that it would take a pretty dedicated stalker to live in a crawl space undetected. It certainly wouldn't be the first time someone has cooked up a hoax in exchange for internet points. However, Two Bite Brownie insists he's telling the truth and that the police are currently investigating the secret room and its sinister, absent inhabitant. If the story is true, I guess a jail cell would probably seem like a luxury upgrade to someone who's used to living inside a wall. But what do you think? Is this story the terrifying truth or a heinous hoax? Let me know in the comments below. The Office of Secrets When you think of an office, you may think of a place where fun goes to die. But as it turns out, not all workplaces are gloomy temples of boredom. Just ask Ed Scutus. This computer security expert wanted to create an office where you'd actually choose to spend your time, so he let his imagination run wild by commissioning a custom-built workspace above his garage, which is crammed full of surprises. Our tour begins in the entrance hall, which honestly is pretty basic, but when you open the door on the right, you'll find an old-fashioned pine-paneled staircase that hints at something more exciting to come. Travel up the stairs and you'll emerge into a quirky study that looks like it belongs to an old world detective, complete with squishy sofas, a gramophone, a typewriter, a suit of armor, and a magnifying glass. Still, it looks a bit small to fit a whole team of employees, right? Wrong. Hidden behind the bookcase is a sizable secret meeting room with a stamped tin ceiling, solid oak work counters, plasma balls, and an antique globe. And if that wasn't surprising enough, there's a mysterious panel at the back of this hidden workroom which seems to be set back from the rest of the wall. That's right, Ed went for the double whammy and hid a secret room inside a secret room. The strange panel is on hinges and swings open to reveal this, a boring modern storage space full of wires, office supplies, and a microwave. Had Ed run out of ideas at this point in the construction? Of course not. Look more closely at the wall and you'll notice a small rectangle, almost like a cupboard door. This unassuming panel opens up to reveal two tiny holes which allow you to peer straight through the eyes of a portrait of Albert Einstein that hangs on the wall of the other secret room. I guess that's one way to keep an eye on your employees. If you're feeling inspired by Ant's office, it's totally possible to build your own secret door like this with a simple combo of bricks, hinges, and wood boards. All you need is a spare storage room to hide stuff in. Just don't go turning your little brother's room into a secret chamber without asking first. Treasure Trove If you found a secret room in your home, what would you hope to find inside it? Gold? Cash? A memory stick loaded with never-before-seen Be Amazed videos? Those are all great options, but one man in Hamtramck, Michigan discovered treasure of a different kind while completing some renovations on his home. When Ricardo Bush decided to remove some wood paneling from the top floor of his house, he didn't expect to uncover anything more exciting than a solid wall. Imagine his shock when what he actually found was a tiny secret room that had been hidden away for decades. Inside the room were two large trunks completely covered in dust. Ricardo immediately opened them up, envisaging piles of gold coins or precious jewels. But instead, he found an enormous stack of family photos and mementos dating back to 1925, all belonging to a family Ricardo didn't recognize. 
Kind-hearted Ricardo immediately decided that he wanted to reunite the mysterious mementos with their original owners. He agreed to a series of news interviews in hopes they'd be seen by someone who could provide him with more information. And luckily, that wish came true. 70-year-old Kathy Nedeliz Zarkzewski from South Carolina was shocked when a friend forwarded the story to her on Facebook. She instantly recognized her dad in one of the photos Ricardo had uncovered. It turned out that the house Ricardo lived in had been built by Kathy's grandfather. It's unclear why he decided to conceal his family keepsakes behind a secret wall. Perhaps he just liked surprises. Whatever the reason for their mysterious hiding place, Ricardo was thrilled to be able to send both trunks to Kathy, who can now treasure her mementos and learn more about her family. Although, if we're being honest, I bet Ricardo still secretly wishes he found some gold. The Hidden House Finding a secret room in your attic is one thing, but can you imagine finding an entire house up there? Unbelievable though it may sound, that's exactly what happened to one Reddit user by the name of Catching Windows. He'd always been aware that the home he'd lived in for two years had a very large attic space, but he never got around to properly exploring it. One day though, curiosity got the better of him. He climbed into the attic to take a look and discovered a huge hidden crawl space beneath the dusty floorboards. Venturing down, he came across something that stopped him in his tracks. There was what seemed to be an entire house in there. I'm not kidding. Desperate to understand more, Catching Windows pushed open the green front door and peered inside. His torch revealed a series of dusty rooms complete with peeling floral wallpaper, light fittings, a toilet, glass windows, and a sink. It was obvious that someone had once lived in this mysterious home, but it had clearly been empty for some time. Confused and creeped out, Catching Windows did what any concerned citizen would do. He immediately posted about his experience on Reddit. Luckily, Catching Windows eventually got some answers to explain his inexplicable second home. It turned out that the house he was living in had once been a grocery store, with an upstairs apartment for the shop owners to live in. With the shop closed down, the property was transformed into a church, but rather than demolishing that upstairs apartment, the builders decided to construct a large attic around it, block it off, and call it a day. When the church was later converted into a house, nobody thought to inform the new owners that they'd purchased two houses for the price of one. I guess there are worse things you could find in your attic. Cold War Secrets What if I told you there might be a secret underground bunker in your backyard? Would you grab your shovel or would you leave that creepy secret firmly covered up? That was the dilemma that faced John Sims when he bought a house in Tucson, Arizona in 2015. While he was being shown around his new home, the former owner let slip that there was a rumor about a small hideout buried in the garden. Understandably, that was just too intriguing for John to ignore. So, once the house was in his possession, using city records and an old metal detector, John began to scour the garden for any sign of a secret. He didn't have to search for long. Almost immediately, John's metal detector began to beep like crazy over one portion of his garden. After a little digging, he discovered a strange metal dish with a small handle buried underneath the soil. Rising it open, he uncovered a narrow spiral staircase tunneling down beneath his lawn. At the bottom of the rickety steps was a roomy concrete chamber. It turned out what John had unearthed was actually a Cold War era bunker dating all the way back to 1961, designed to protect its inhabitants from nuclear fallout. But what was it doing in John's garden? Well, Tucson is surrounded by the Sonoran Desert, where the US government positioned 18 nuclear missile silos during the Cold War. As a result, certain citizens of Tucson were a little paranoid about the threat of a nuclear attack, and so the original owners of John's house had built themselves an emergency hideaway. Even though the Cold War ended in 1991, John fell in love with his peculiar find and decided to restore it to its former glory. He's been posting updates of his progress to Reddit, and it's looking pretty great. But the best part? It's the perfect place to hide when his in-laws come to town. Creepy Crawl Space 
What would you do if you moved into your dream house only to find something truly creepy hidden within the walls? Well, that's exactly what happened to Reddit user Lumberjack back in 2014. After spending two weeks in his new home, Lumberjack spotted a small white door in his attic and was intrigued to check it out. He hoped he was about to discover hidden treasure, or at least something cool to post on Reddit. But while his discovery did earn him some internet fame, it had a dark side. Inside the white door was a small carpeted crawl space, and right at the back was a second mysterious door. Lumberjack forced open the lock and peered inside. The tiny room was covered in white soundproofing board and was empty except for a small black safe and a briefcase. Lumberjack grabbed both items and carried them out into the main house, excited to inspect his treasures. He started with a briefcase. Inside, he was delighted to find envelopes filled with cash, as well as an old-fashioned wooden jewelry box containing watches and rings. Pleased with his discovery so far, Lumberjack turned his attention to the safe. If the previous homeowners had left money and jewelry lying around in a briefcase, he could only imagine what valuable possessions they'd have locked up inside this mysterious black box. However, as soon as Lumberjack opened the safe, he began to wish he'd never entered the crawl space at all. Just inside the lid, the words do not had been ominously scrawled in white ink. Folded up inside the box was a torn piece of paper with Save Yourself written on it in large, unsteady letters. If that wasn't bad enough, six cassette tapes had also been stashed away in the safe, and No 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 had been written on each and every one of them. It looked as though Lumberjack had stumbled upon something pretty twisted. Sadly, the outcome of this haunting tale remains a mystery. Lumberjack deleted his post, claiming that the police had asked him to remove the popular Reddit thread while they investigated the case, as the tapes he'd found allegedly showed criminal activity. While some online skeptics argue Lumberjack's story was a hoax, he denies any deception to this day. Whatever the truth is, I know I'd think twice before visiting that house. Bizarre Basements There are few creepier things to hear than the phrase, there's something in the basement. But alarmingly, plenty of excited homeowners have moved into a brand new pad only to discover something downright weird tucked away beneath their feet. Just take the story of imager user MadHats86. While helping her friend tear up some old carpet, she was shocked to discover a hidden trap door in the floor. Opening the hatch, the pair uncovered a scene straight out of a horror movie. A creepy old staircase led down into a dark room, which seemed to be filled with strange objects. When they grabbed a torch, they were horrified to discover that the space was lined with rows and rows of jars, each one filled to the brim with murky liquid. Had they stumbled upon an underground lab? Or worse? Well, don't pee your pants just yet, because when the homeowner investigated more closely, she was relieved to discover that the jars contained nothing more sinister than some very old homemade pickles. It seemed the previous owner had a pretty intense pickling habit they've been too embarrassed to share with the world, and had hidden away instead. I guess the only real danger here is food poisoning. But that's not the only strange basement discovery that's gone viral online. For a more explosive secret stash, take a look at the room discovered by Reddit user Jerry. Two weeks after he moved into his brand new home, he noticed a strange wooden panel beside his basement stairs. Determined to take a look, he levered the plywood plank away from the wall and was shocked to discover a secret room he'd never seen before. Inside were stacks and stacks of empty gun cases, as well as a safe full of ammo. It was clear that whoever had owned the house before Jerry had been somewhat of a gun nut. The most shocking discovery of all, however, came when Jerry opened up a tin box only to reveal a grenade. His whole life flashed before his eyes as he beheld the explosive menace. But after a terrifying few seconds, he noticed a huge hole in the bottom of the grenade. It wasn't live after all. The roller coaster of emotions came to a happy ending when Jerry noticed the secret arsenal also contained a box full of loose pennies, which he can hopefully use to buy some therapy to help recover from all the shock. 
Have you ever found a hidden space in your own home? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.